If I told you I was going to modify my 3D printer by closing these vent holes and blocking half of this fan, you'd probably tell me I was an idiot because this is obviously a fire hazard. Keeping the power supply from breathing is not a good thing. Things are going to get too hot in here and they might fail or catch fire. So this is my Ender 3 V2. While it makes great prints, I was a little disappointed in the amount of noise that this machine makes while it's running. A lot of this comes down to the fans that they used, but I also noticed something on the bottom thanks to a comment on one of my previous videos. So, I took this cover off, and what you can see underneath is that there's some ventilation holes that this metal cover is covering up. This should be lined up pretty much perfectly like this but my cover was offset a little bit, so it was blocking a lot of this vent. So what I'm gonna do is continue making this cut and I'll open those vent holes back up. Since this cover blocked most of the vents, it was keeping the power supply from breathing effectively. While removing this cover helped improve the airflow situation, it still has issues. One of those issues is that being flat against the table the exhaust coming out of these vent holes is getting sucked back in to the fan. So it's not really getting fresh air, it's kind of recycling the air that's already been warmed up. Cutting this off was a good improvement, but I'm going to go one step further and change the mounting of this power supply. I much prefer the vertical power supply mounting that the older editions of the Ender 3 have. Okay, that's enough of that noise. This one. I'm just going to take care of this real quick. Alright, so I need to untangle these stepper cables. They don't need to go through here anymore. These stepper cables just unplug and the y-axis switch needs to come off. Alright, now I can feed these wires back through the power supply cover. Alright, and the last thing I need to do is extend these two power wires so that I can reposition the power supply all the way over here. The nice thing about this mod is the V2 already has the holes to do the vertical power supply mounting. I just need to modify this shroud because it sticks out a little in the end here. So now I've got my wires connected in here and I did that with a pair of crimpers. So if you don't have a pair of crimpers, I highly recommend you get some. They're really useful. Something to note is you just want to be careful with all these wires so they don't get cut on these sharper edges of the sheet metal. I have it all tucked away here, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. All right, so I got my new power line plugged in, and I just got to plug these two back in. So this is a stepper motor driver and the limit switch. All right, now I've finished all my wiring. Time to see if it works. All right, so it looks like everything's working just fine. So that should help the power supply stay cooler. So we started out with this power supply mounted underneath the machine and we had a big metal cover covering most of the vents. Both of these factors were causing it to have worse ventilation, so it had to run the fans constantly. By removing the metal cover and opening up these vents while still having the power supply on the bottom of the machine, it was able to run cooler, so instead of having the fans run 100% of the time, they ran maybe 50% of the time. Now that I've mounted it in this vertical orientation, the power supply fan only runs about 30% of the time. And once I add a quiet knock to a fan onto the side of it, like I did with this Ender 3 Pro, that'll make the machine much quieter so I don't have to hear it whenever I'm printing something. So I'm curious, if you have an Ender 3 V2, does it have a metal cover that's blocking most of the vents on your power supply? If so, you might want to consider taking that off or maybe even switching it to a vertical orientation like I have here. So that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more. In my next video, I'm going to install a V6 style hot end onto this machine, 
And I'm also going to give it the Noctua fan treatment, so it's super quiet, just like my Ender 3 Pro over here is. It's been printing the whole time, and it really hasn't been that much of a nuisance. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.